Hello everyone, Sarah here, wild hair today. <laughs> We're going to be getting into the discussion and topic and conversation around you being a reaction to what triggers you. And it seems like naturally those things would go hand in hand, trigger and a reaction, but they don't always have to. It depends on where you're at and your emotional scale, your emotional availability and your emotional healing journey. When you are just a walking, talking reaction to what triggers you, it seems like any and everything can and does. And that's not a very fun way to quote unquote live. In fact, it barely feels like living, but so many, so many people still living with, still carrying around, still walking with emotional wounds, feel like they're just a reaction to the things that trigger them and feel like any and everything does. E even just a look from somebody, <laughs> even a look from somebody can, can completely ignite all of the emotions and feelings and beliefs that you have that you've stuffed and bottled down and just psh, cause them to come out and to explode and can completely ruin your day. It can be this, oh my God, now, now everything is ruined. The whole day is ruined. Like this, this experience of throwing the baby out with the bathwater because of just the simple look. So when you're a reaction to the things that trigger you, you've got stories gone, going on inside your mind. Stories of, well, they did this to me because they, the, the only reason they did that was because, and you've got this constant inner dialogue and chaos that completely sets you off and, and makes you just completely lose it. It's not a really fun way to live. You know that if you've lived this way, you know that if you, if you believe that you come from a family where you're the one that everyone likes to hate, where everyone else is the favorite and you're the black sheep, you're the one that is just, mm, no one cares about you. No one loves you the way that they love your brother or your sister or whoever it is. Like you can never do any, any right. You can only ever do wrong. And that is the perception that you're living with. And in the perception of living that way, it feels like you're just a, tr a re emotional reaction to every trigger. And it feels like everything is a trigger. <sighs> that is the impact of living with inner unhealed wounds of living with these jaded, funky, distorted beliefs that you have about yourself, that everyone is out to get you, that everything bad has happened to you because you're a bad person, this identity of, well, this is the way it is. And this stuff like this always happens to me. If you can live with that belief, you can also live with the belief that is equivalent to its equal and energetic opposite, that everything good happens to you. And there needs to be some healing around the beliefs that have you believe that around the stories that have been created from the events and the experiences that you've had in the past that have your mind automatically go to that because that's what's happening when you're triggered your mind automatically and instinctively goes to a story that says something negative or limiting about you that goes to this kind of thing always happens to me and this thing is negative this thing causes this and it's like this chain reaction this happens and then this happens and then this happens and then this happens and then you wonder how did I even get here why is my life this way why does it always feel like this and there's an inner dialogue and story that's created around that that supports that well it's because and then you justify and you defend and you explain and you rationalize and you reason your way into the very place that you hate being in it's craziness and it's crazy making. And that's often why when you experience it, you feel like you're going crazy because you're chasing this invisible rabbit down a dark black hole. And then you feel completely lost, stuck, broken, all the things you begin to, in that space, believe all the things that are in there. Well, how do you get out of there? Well, you rewind, you go back, but people will say it's not that easy. And I totally get it. I completely understand. I've been there too. The thing that makes it easiest is when you connect with the very core and the very root of it, what is going on internally? What is going on unconsciously? The unconscious beliefs, because consciously you can say, I see the trail. I understand. I know. And I have to journal. I have to tap or I have to meditate my way out of it. But many of us are living in a world where we cannot spend 24 hours a day journaling, tapping and meditating. So then what do you do? Then it feels like it takes forever to completely transform and change these beliefs. Well, when you use powerful tools, 
like rapid transformational therapy, like hypnotherapy, you can get to the unconscious beliefs that have created these patterns, that have established these habits and these routines that you you seem to harbor within and, and break free from it and break out of it much more quickly. Otherwise, it's going to feel like it takes forever. Otherwise, you're going to believe it takes a long time to heal. And you're thinking, well, I don't want it to take a long time to heal. I just want to go on living my life. I want to feel in an internal sense of peace and trust and safety and happiness and wholeness. How do I get to that place when this is the space I'm in now? Because there's a Grand Canyon size gap between where I am and where I want to be. Closing the gap requires doing work of course it's not just going to naturally or magically close on its own and the fastest way to do the work is to go to the place where all of this is created from the unconscious beliefs the unconscious part of the mind there's a very conscious part of the mind that says yeah i know i see all these things and that's the part that's connected unconsciously with the belief system and the story that creates that so getting to that it's like you get a bypass it's like you get a fast pass to transformation, a fast pass to change, a fast pass to feeling the feelings that you want to feel and not feeling the feelings that you don't want to feel as often, not to say you'll never feel them. You're human. We live in a very broken world. But to flip the story, to flip the dialogue, to transform it, to change it, to get into the belief system, it is safe to trust myself. I am not the limiting stories and the negativity of my past that I once thought I was that other people benefited from me believing that I was so they could use abuse and take advantage of me. I am this. And this is a something much more powerful, much more positive, much more realistic. This is something that is much more capable and allows you to truly feel able to live a life that's more in alignment with what you want to live, to live in a life that's in alignment with the, the truth about you, with the universal truth about you, that you are enough, that you're not broken, that you are fully loved, that you are completely supported. And seeking evidence that supports that instead of seeking out evidence that supports that you're not. So when you're ready for that, I would love to connect and talk to you more about what that journey is like. It's a very beautiful one. It's a very powerful one. You do not have to believe that you have to go back and change anything from your past, because if you're believing that, of course, you'll believe that change can't happen because you can't change anything from the past, but you can rewrite and reprogram and rewire the story that you're telling yourself about who you are because of the past. So if you grew up in a very, in my own personal journey and story in a very emotionally neglectful environment, but maybe it was normal and you didn't realize that it wasn't normal then because no child knows that it's not normal. They just know that this is what it is and this is how I feel about it. And then we grow up and we get to see and experience more of the world and realize not everyone experienced that. Not everyone has that. Not everyone is limited. Not everyone is stuck in this this is what it is. Mindset. There are people who have come from that and come through that and have changed themselves because of that for the better. And now are there serving themselves and serving others. I want that. If we live in this world of desire. I want that. I want that. I want that. And it comes to, it comes to everything that we get to experience in life. Think about, I see someone with new shoes. I want those shoes. How do I, how do I get those? Where'd you get those? What do I have to go to get those? How much does that cost? We live in a world of desire. But when you're living in a very scarcity triggered world internally, the story is I can't have that because, and then we, we develop stories and the beliefs that we have internally and unconsciously support that story. And then we get triggered constantly. So when you're tired of living in a state of constant triggering and you're ready to live more in a state of alignment with the truth about you and who you really are enough loved, safe, caring, guided, supported, and you're ready to truly embody the emotions and the energy and the feeling of that, then I'd love to see if we're a good fit to work together to get you in alignment to that state, whether it's one-to-one -one or whether you simply join us inside our Transforming Past Pain to Present Power program. There are many, many different options available and new programs that we're creating to help guide you and support you along this journey. So let's connect when you're ready for that, when you're tired of living in a state of feeling like everything triggers you because there's such a beautiful, such, such an incredible state of living in this belief that everything supports me, even the quote unquote bad things, even the things that trigger me can support me. 
I see this now and not to say that it's easy or fun, but when you see it from this perspective, everything supports me, even the triggers that I have, because they're valuable lessons, opportunities for learn, opportunities for expansion and growth and for evolution, opportunities to again, go within, you realize everything in life it revolves around this journey of being triggered and not seeing being triggered as a bad thing, but seeing triggered as being a teachable thing, a thing where you can allow yourself to experience more healing, more truth, to realign, to reconnect with where you've gotten off course and off path. So ah, that's my little rant for today. When you feel like you're a walking, talking trigger and you're tired of it and you you have internal dialogue and external dialogue that just focuses on the negative and all the heaviness and all the things that are bad and wrong and you want to shift and you want to pivot because you want to be a light for yourself and in the world, <laughs> then there's some work to be done and it's incredible work. It's life-changing work. And it's not heavy or hard work, but it does require the same thing that work does. It requires action, it requires doing, it requires commitment. And then it also requires an embodiment of being in that energetic state, not just the masculine energy, but the feminine energy of receiving the things that you deserve and desire. So let's do it. <laughs> what do you say? <sighs> All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for listening to my little rant and tangent. And when you're ready for that, I would love to connect. All right, guys, love you. Let's see you soon.